Hey everyone, and welcome to my first look at a game called Pivot. Pivot is developed by Fixpoint Productions, Whitaker Trabella in particular. And uh, it's like, it's got music, it's minimalistic, and it's like an obstacle dodging game. That's what it is, basically. And you might say that sounds kind of like Super Hexagon, or something like that. And you would be right, It's it's got some influence there. And, I mean, I'm just going to kind of dive into it. At first, the game is only going to be available on uh, iOS. But it will later come to Android. That's, like, later being a few weeks later. And then sometime after that, it will be available for all of you on PC and Mac. And uh, there will be a link to the iOS purchase in the description. There will also be a link to the Steam Greenlight page if you want to see this get on Steam. Uh, that's obviously the place to support it to do that. So, in Voyage here, this is progression based. We're dodging obstacles and after each set or obstacle, we get one of those colorful orbs and that fills this circle. We fill the circle um, however many times we beat the level, get to move on to the next one. I am on a press build so I have everything unlocked, but see, this one, I mean it's kind of like a story based thing where if you mess up which I will at some point, uh, you start exactly at the level kind of that you were. Like, I have that circle right now, so next time I would start from that circle and that'd be fine. And then there's something like Endless, which is more what you would expect from a game like this, where it's time-based. There's still going to be the orbs because there are still levels after it, but, you know, this one, you're not starting from the same place as far as I can tell. You're starting from the start, and I don't know how many orbs you need to get the next level unlocked, because, again, press build. So, we're just going to see how long I can last on this. Speed up, so that, that, you know, we speed up when we fill each thing. And this isn't going badly, but if this looks easy so far, I promise it's not. <laughs> it's not easy. I promise. I'll show you in a second what makes this, like, actually really hard. Right. I'm getting a high score here because I haven't had... Oh, messed up. But anyway, if that looked easy, fine. Go for a while on that. There's Expert Voyage, which is just a tougher voyage, of course. And then there's Expert Endless. Tougher Endless. I don't have quite as long on this one, but this is probably the game mode that you'll see the most play on once you have them unlocked. Like, maybe not this one in particular. That was pretty bad, but... Uh, yeah, I should show off a little more of it. This is the three that are endless will probably be the ones you play the most, I would expect. Because, you know, everyone likes getting times. Okay. So, <laughs> here's Berserk. Berserk is real crazy. I have, you see, four seconds on it. Because, yeah. Oh, gosh. It's, it's really tough. And this is kind of darn it. It's kind of darn it. I mean, this is the mode that the people that have played it a lot will see and then get really good at and impress me because I I am so bad at this mode and you hear the music is of course crazier because it has to be I mean look how fast you're going moving I'm rolling around at the speed of sound okay I, I don't think I'm gonna beat 4.32 seconds honestly as crazy as easy as it seems like it might be and I mean I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are like Wow, you look really bad at this game. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. You'd probably be better than me. Better than me. Anyway, I want to show you the settings where, um, I'm... of course, you can play with the keyboard or the mouse, just like Super Hexagon, for example. I don't want to compare it too much because they are different games with the same kind of premise, sort of, but there's also a sensitivity thing. So this is the biggest thing that I'm going to compare to Super Hexagon, I guess, where... You change the sensitivity and look how fast you spin once you've done that, like once you've turned it up. So it's not level-based like Super Hexagon, it's as fast as you feel comfortable making it go, which could be an advantage or a disadvantage for you. Uh, I'm, I'm okay down here. <laughs> I can stay down there. But, yeah, oh, and I can tap 20 times to erase all data if you want to go through it again. But Berserk, I mean, it would be cool to be good at this, but I'm just not. <laughs> I am just not. I want to know where it goes, 
but I don't think I'm ever going to find out because I can't even make it past the first obstacle. This is randomly generated, by the way. You're not going to do it the exact same twice, but kind of like, say, Super Hexagon, as much as I hate making all these comparisons to it, uh, you start off with similar obstacles every time, but they are not in exactly the same configuration, so it's not like you can just memorize it and do it with your eyes closed, but you can still kind of know what to expect, at least at the start. And then after that, it probably opens up a lot, but I would never know because I can't get past the first few seconds in Berserk. Alright, why don't I... Oh gosh, oh gosh. I want to beat my time, but I don't think I'm going to. Darn it. But still, this definitely has... This is definitely a game with replayability and difficulty. I mean, it might be an advantage to turn my sensitivity up. Oh, I could have had that one. That one could have been the run. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh no, I was so close. I mean, I don't know how much more there is that I need to show you about this game. Voyage and, and, and Expert Voyage are just going to be progression-based entirely, whereas Endless, Expert Endless and Berserk are about time, but since they're just to, uh, since Expert Endless unlocks Berserk and a Berserk doesn't unlock anything, Berserk doesn't have the orbs, it's just time, or maybe it does have the orbs and I've just not gotten to them yet. That's entirely possible. But, you know, each one unlocks next. And, uh, you know, Expert Endless might actually be doable and fun. I can't, I can't deal with Berserk, it's too hard. But I think it's a fun game, and there, again, will be a link to the iOS purchase in the description, which will be available on August 1st, and it won't that link won't really do anything before then, so keep that in mind. Uh, after that, we'll eventually come to Android, and then eventually to PC and Mac. Steam Greenlight page, support it if you think that this looks like a fun idea. It's a pretty game, even though it's minimalistic, it's got the music, it's good. I really do enjoy this game, and I think that it is something that people could sink a lot of time into. Especially as an iOS game, That's I mean, that's a good idea for it, it's a good place for it. But it also works as a PC game just as more of a quick play PC game, or, I mean, if you're like me, you're like, oh, I can do better, and then you play it for the next three hours trying to do better, and then you don't. But, you know, that's the kind of gamer you are, that's all that really matters there. Uh, tons of different obstacles that I didn't show off in this, because I didn't make it to them or not, or something, or, you know, there are also some that are just really difficult. Uh, I think that it's enjoyable, I would totally recommend it, especially because it is only going to be, like, three dollars, which is not at all much. And, I mean, that's that's a good price. That's what Super Hexagon is. Uh, it's good and cheap. I definitely like it. And I think that you probably will as well, especially if you're one of the people that likes that kind of game. I mean, it's, I think you know if you would be interested in this game just from looking at it. So, I mean, what more can I say? I would recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.